Have you ever had one of those days where it's just a struggle to get a bike going and it's just a grind throughout the entire day? Yeah, we all have. And this video is one of those days for me. Unfortunately, I have the added pressure that I'm participating in the Grassy Sound Flounder Tournament, so I need to get a fish on deck so that I can weigh something in. Here's how that day went. And this is what most of my day looked like, right here. Swing and a miss. Small bites, very few and far between, um, until finally I hook into something and maybe I can get on the board. Short. Yeah, so I'm not getting on the board with this one. It's obviously short, way short, probably in the 15 inch range. So I had to throw this back, but th that's been the story of the morning. We've been out there hours, um, out there with my buddy Joe. Uh, he has a short, uh, probably about 16, 16 and a half. And then I have mine, which is even shorter. It's just very non-committal bite, um, just little taps and then they're gone. So we just keep moving and moving until finally hook into this towards the end of the day. So the story behind this is we've been fishing all day. It's getting towards the end of the day. We can see some weather coming in, uh, which you'll see in a moment behind me. So we're gonna move back towards the launch. We don't have anything to weigh in at this point, but we're, we have one desperation spot, which is essentially right next to the launch, and that's where we head. And you can see I'm turning up there. I'm letting Joe know, okay, I've got a keeper size here, something that can be weighed in. Uh, come on down. I don't wanna yell because there are a bunch of other boats around that are not fishing the same structure, but are in the very close vicinity, and I didn't wanna say anything to them. So here it is. It's time to take it out and, and give it a measure. So to be very clear, this tournament is not about the length of the fish. It is about the weight of the fish, but I'm going to give it a measure anyway, because I'm curious. I wanna know what, what size fish this is in length, because that's what I normally measure. So I'm gonna measure it right now, and I wanna show you, I'm going to do it incorrectly. People always get on me about this. I do it incorrectly on purpose and for a reason. In this case, I'm taking the fish grips out, which I don't need to measure it, and you shouldn't use to measure it to see if it's legal, but I'm going to put the fish grips in so I don't lose the fish overboard, and I'm going to measure it with the fish grips in its mouth. I know that is not a way to measure it, but I do that when I'm going to keep the fish, and it's an obvious keeper, just to get a kind of like a field measure, or if I'm going to release it. 20, 20. Yeah, Rich. It was right over here. Yep. I got it on a gulp, the pink one, on the teaser. So a quick 30 second explanation of the area that I caught it. And by the way, that fish ended up being 3.2 pounds tie for third in the tournament. So here's where I fished. The, here, right here circled is where I caught the fish, where I hooked it. And you can see the current was coming from the top left to the bottom right on the outgoing. So warmer water pushing out. The wind was coming in the exact opposite direction. Pretty stiff as you can see in the previous video from the flag on the back of the kayak. And I caught it right at the, at the outside of this structure. So as the warm water was coming down through this deep hole and coming back up into this flat area, this is where it was stationed. This is where I hooked it. And that's how I got on the leaderboard. So we used what little remaining time we had left to just kind of carpet bomb this area with our bucktails and, and gulps and minnows and see if we could pick up something else. We got hit by a pretty uh, intense brief rain shower. Uh, so we got rained on. Um, and you can see we we're still picking them up in this area. We we're still getting the bites, but we weren't able to land anything uh, to bring in to the weigh in. So th that was the final result that you just saw. Right here. Uh, so I wanted to just show you this video. Right it can be bite. tough for everybody. I don't always go out and catch a lot of fish. In this case, I only caught two all day. I uh, had a ton of misses, but at the end of the day, if you're just able to eke out one good fish, it can really salvage it for you. So. Now, most of my days are much more successful than this, and popping up on the screen, I have some videos that you might want to check out for more successful trips, uh, but I, I did, again, want to make sure that I shared uh, days that aren't as successful. So check out that playlist popping up for the flounder targeting and catching, along with the video, and I'll see you over there.